15 seconds, I told new viewers of vidIQ who we are, our value proposition, and why you should subscribe to our channel in a slightly inventive way. I'm thinking of actually doing that pointing to people in a classroom and telling them off for all future videos, so stick around for that. As you continue on through a video, if you get to a point where you deliver something of real value or a spectacular moment in a video, and that is your payoff to a certain extent, don't be afraid to put in a call to action there as well. And what I mean by call to action is asking the viewers to subscribe or something on screen that you don't even address it's just there it just reminds the viewer hey if you're liking this remember to press that red button you can also add a subscribe watermark to your videos it looks like this down in the bottom left hand corner or is it right hand corner I can never remember people can subscribe to your channel through the desktop version of the video it will appear on mobile devices but they can't subscribe to it from there this can be really effective for bringing in a few extra subscribers to every single video we've got a dedicated video on this over here here and don't be afraid to put a subscribe link in your channel description in the end screens and maybe in a pinned comment give your viewers as many opportunities as possible to remind them that it's free to subscribe and they'll get value from it because you're going to give your audience exactly what they're asking for Something that's going to be really important throughout your YouTube journey is perspective. You may not like what I'm about to tell you, but it is the truth. When you start your YouTube channel, you have no authority, you have no influence, you have no social proof. From the audience perspective, they are asking the question, why should I subscribe to you? What makes you different as a video creator? From YouTube's perspective, the platform wants more data from your content. It wants to know which audience is watching your content and for how long and how successful it is and whether or not to push that content to more people after they've watched it and indeed subscribed. I am not going to lie to you, the first few weeks and months on YouTube can be a real uphill struggle. For many creators, hitting that first 100 subscribers was the most challenging thing they did on their channel. But then hitting the next 100 subscribers wasn't so hard and then the next 100 and before you know it you're up to 500 and then you're coming in to the 1000 subscriber mark. What needs to happen is a connection between the viewer and the content creator. When you build trust, you build a relationship and you get onto a personal level, you somehow impact that viewer in an emotional way that creates the bond where the subscription hopefully will happen and then who knows what beyond that. Now what I hope I've done throughout this video is establish